The human mind is a complex and fascinating thing. To navigate its intricacies, psychologists use models to understand how people think, feel and behave. These models are like maps that guide clinicians in understanding mental health issues. They provide frameworks for organizing thoughts about human behavior and offer different lenses through which to view psychological distress. Just like there are many different types of maps, there are many different psychological models. Each model offers a unique perspective on the human experience and provides valuable insights into the complexities of the mind. These models help us understand the origins of psychological distress, identify patterns in thoughts and behaviors, and develop effective treatment strategies. By using these models, clinicians can better understand their clients' experiences, communicate more effectively, and develop tailored treatment plans. These models also play a crucial role in guiding research and advancing our knowledge of mental health. They provide a common language for researchers to communicate findings and contribute to the development of new and innovative treatment approaches. However, it's important to remember that models are just that, representations of reality, not reality itself. No single model can fully capture the complexity of the human mind. Therefore, an integrative approach, drawing on the strengths of different models, is often the most effective way to understand and treat mental health issues. Sigmund Freud, a prominent figure in psychology, developed the psychoanalytic model which emphasizes the influence of unconscious processes on our thoughts, feelings and behaviors. Freud believed that our early childhood experiences, particularly our relationships with our caregivers, play a significant role in shaping our personality and psychological well-being. Freud proposed that our personality consists of three interacting systems, the ID, ego and superego. The ID, driven by the pleasure principle, seeks immediate gratification of basic needs and desires. The superego, representing our moral conscience, strives for perfection and adherence to societal rules. The ego, operating on the reality principle, mediates between the ID and superego, seeking to satisfy the ID's desires in socially acceptable ways. According to Freud, our unconscious mind is also home to defense mechanisms, which are psychological strategies we unconsciously employ to protect ourselves from anxiety and emotional pain. These defense mechanisms, such as repression, denial and projection, can be both adaptive and maladaptive. While they can help us cope with difficult emotions, they can also lead to distortions in our perceptions and relationships. Freud's psychoanalytic model revolutionized the field of psychology, offering a new way of understanding the human mind and the origins of psychological distress. His work paved the way for the development of psychoanalysis, a form of therapy that aims to bring unconscious conflicts and desires into conscious awareness. While Freud's ideas were groundbreaking, they were also met with criticism and debate. Neo-Freudian theorists such as Carl Jung, Alfred Adler and Karen Horney agreed with Freud's emphasis on the unconscious but expanded and revised his theories in significant ways. They placed less emphasis on sexual drives and more on social and cultural influences in shaping personality. Carl Jung, for example, introduced the concept of the collective unconscious, a shared reservoir of universal experiences and archetypes inherited from our ancestors. Alfred Adler focused on the importance of social interest and the drive for superiority in motivating human behavior. Karen Horney challenged Freud's views on female psychology, arguing that cultural factors rather than penis envy contributed to gender differences in personality. These neo-Freudian perspectives broadened the scope of psychoanalytic theory, emphasizing the role of social, cultural and interpersonal factors in psychological development. They also contributed to the development of new therapeutic approaches such as Jungian analysis and Adlerian therapy, which focus on understanding the individual's unique life experiences and striving for personal growth. In contrast to the psychoanalytic emphasis on unconscious drives, the humanistic model emphasizes the inherent goodness and potential for growth within each individual. Humanistic psychologists such as Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow believe that people are naturally motivated to strive for self-actualization, the realization of their full potential. Carl Rogers, a key figure in the humanistic movement, developed client-centered therapy, which emphasizes the importance of empathy, genuineness and unconditional positive regard in the therapeutic relationship. 
Rogers believed that these core conditions create a safe and supportive environment for clients to explore their feelings, gain self-awareness, and make positive changes in their lives. Abraham Maslow, known for his hierarchy of needs, proposed that people are motivated by a hierarchy of needs ranging from basic physiological needs to higher order needs for love, belonging, esteem, and self-actualization. Maslow believed that fulfilling these needs is essential for psychological well-being and that people are most fulfilled when they are able to live authentically and pursue their passions. The humanistic model has had a profound impact on psychotherapy, emphasizing the importance of the therapeutic relationship, the client's subjective experience, and the potential for personal growth and transformation. Behavior as a learned response, the behavioral model. The behavioral model focuses on observable behaviors and the environmental factors that influence them. Behaviorists such as Ivan Pavlov, John B. Watson and B.F. Skinner believe that all behavior is learned through conditioning, a process of associating stimuli and responses. Classical conditioning discovered by Ivan Pavlov involves learning through association. In his famous experiment with dogs, Pavlov paired the ringing of a bell with the presentation of food causing the dogs to salivate at the sound of the bell alone. This demonstrated that a neutral stimulus, the bell, could elicit a conditioned response salivation when paired with an unconditioned stimulus, food. Operant conditioning developed by B.F. Skinner focuses on the role of consequences in shaping behavior. Skinner proposed that behaviors followed by reinforcement, whether positive or negative, are more likely to be repeated, while behaviors followed by punishment are less likely to occur again. The behavioral model has led to the development of effective treatments for a wide range of mental health issues, including phobias, anxiety disorders, and substance abuse. Behavioral therapies such as exposure therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, focus on modifying maladaptive behaviors and thought patterns. The power of thought, the cognitive model. The cognitive model emphasizes the role of thoughts, beliefs and perceptions in influencing our emotions and behaviors. Cognitive psychologists such as Aaron Beck and Albert Ellis believe that our interpretations of events rather than the events themselves shape our emotional responses. According to the cognitive model, our thoughts can become distorted leading to negative emotions and maladaptive behaviors. For example, someone with social anxiety might misinterpret a neutral facial expression as a sign of disapproval, leading to feelings of anxiety and avoidance of social situations. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, a widely used therapeutic approach, integrates principles of both cognitive and behavioral models. CBT focuses on identifying and modifying maladaptive thoughts and behaviors, helping individuals develop more balanced and adaptive ways of thinking and coping with challenges. The cognitive model has revolutionized our understanding of mental health, highlighting the powerful influence of our thoughts on our emotions and behaviors. It has also led to the development of effective treatments for a wide range of mental health issues, including depression, anxiety disorders, and personality disorders. Integrating Perspectives, a holistic approach to therapy. While each psychological model offers valuable insights into the human mind, relying solely on one model can limit our understanding and treatment of mental health issues. Each model has its strengths and limitations, and no single model can fully capture the complexity of human experience. An integrative approach to therapy draws on the strengths of different models, tailoring treatment to the individual's unique needs and circumstances. This approach recognizes that mental health issues are often multifaceted, influenced by a complex interplay of biological, psychological, social and cultural factors. For example, a therapist might integrate principles of psychoanalysis to explore unconscious conflicts, humanistic therapy to foster self-acceptance, and cognitive behavioral therapy to address maladaptive thoughts and behaviors. By integrating different perspectives, therapists can provide a more comprehensive and holistic approach to treatment. The role of models in assessment, diagnosis and treatment planning. Psychological models play a crucial role in guiding assessment, diagnosis and treatment planning in clinical practice. 
They provide a framework for understanding the client's presenting problems, identifying underlying factors contributing to their distress, and developing effective treatment strategies. During assessment, clinicians use models to gather information about the client's history, symptoms, and current functioning. They might use structured interviews, psychological tests, or behavioral observations to assess the client's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Based on the assessment findings, clinicians use diagnostic criteria outlined in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM-5, to make a diagnosis. The DSM-5 provides a common language for mental health professionals to communicate about mental disorders and guide treatment planning. Treatment planning involves developing a collaborative plan with the client, drawing on the insights gained from the assessment and diagnosis. The chosen model or models will guide the selection of specific interventions such as cognitive behavioral techniques, psychodynamic therapy, or mindfulness-based approaches. Conclusion Embracing Complexity in Mental Health Understanding the human mind is a complex and ongoing endeavor. Psychological models provide valuable frameworks for organizing our understanding of mental health issues, guiding assessment, diagnosis, and treatment planning. However, it's essential to remember that models are just that, representations of reality, not reality itself. No single model can fully capture the complexity of the human mind, and relying solely on one perspective can limit our understanding and treatment of mental health issues. An integrative approach drawing on the strengths of different models and tailoring treatment to the individual's unique needs offers a more comprehensive and holistic approach to promoting mental well-being. As we continue to explore the intricacies of the human mind, it's crucial to embrace complexity, challenge our assumptions, and remain open to new perspectives. By integrating knowledge from different models, we can continue to advance our understanding of mental health and develop more effective treatments for those in need. If you found this video insightful and want to keep exploring the fascinating world of psychology, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. To ensure you never miss out on our latest deep dives into the mind, tap the bell icon to get notified instantly. Let's continue unraveling the mysteries of the brain and mental well-being. And hey, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.